Welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel. Today we're going to be working on doing a compression test on this new engine, just seeing where our compression is. So join me in the adventure. Okay, so I went online to the website that started with books and now sells everything. Found this. This had some 5,000 reviews and like four and a half stars or something. So I figured I, that's half decent. So I figured pick it up and see how it would do not particularly endorsing it but let's see what it does it actually will screw down into the cylinders and then you can test the compression of each cylinder so that's probably will work probably better than just uh, trying to hold it in there and start it and all that kind of stuff so let's get into it all right first things first I took off all the spark wires they're kind of labeled I have two sets in here anyway but they're about where they need to be i also disconnected the gasoline up into the carburetor uh, before the fuel pump just to save some gas it's very expensive right now so any little bit i can do to save some gas but we're going to take out all these spark plugs one thing i'll do is i'll also make sure to disconnect the distributor from the ignition coil so that we're not sparking anything either. Okay, so here's the kit. It wasn't the cheapest, but it, like I said, it had the best reviews. Comes with instructions. Comes with four uh, sizes to screw into your cylinder. Obviously the tube and then two press, press fit to a cylinder. So I figured lawn mower or any other vehicle, it would probably work. If not, if this doesn't work, then we'll send it back. Okay, so you just put the little insert down in there. Then you screw this part of your hose into it. All finger tight. And then you connect your gauge. Just like so. Now we're going to get our battery, hook it up, and turn it over with the starter. Okay. So you guys can hook up. So that red. 75 psi that's pretty good that should start with that so we're going to bleed it off slowly and go to the next cylinder the next one i'm going to do is number three just when i was doing it manually last time that was the lowest one so we're going to see what we get and it reads about 75 as well not fantastic specs 90 to 100 so it's obviously a little bit low but it should run at 75 all right we got number four hooked up and it only reads 60 so perhaps i didn't get it tight we're going to check it all out. All right, we're going to try number four again. And it's still reading about 60. So I guess that one might be a little low. Not sure what's going on with that particular one. That may be part of the trouble. And here we go for number two. That one ended up reading just below 75. We'll call that 70 maybe. So it looks like we got 75, 75, 70, and 60. All right, so the next test, we're supposed to put 30 cc's or one ounce of oil down your cylinder and 
see if that raises the number or not. If it does, it means that your rings are worn. I wasn't exactly sure how to do it, so I took an old medicine bottle, measured out one ounce, marked it there, and then I'm gonna fill it up to that and then just pour it in. And hopefully that will work pretty well. All right, so we have our oil here. And I'm going to Try to pour it directly down the hole. Like so. We're going to start with number four since that was the lowest one. If it raises the compression by putting the oil in there, that means it's the piston rings. If it doesn't, it probably means I have a stuck valve. So yeah, that's sitting at 80. So that went up a lot. It went up uh, almost 20 PSI. So definitely wear is an issue on that back cylinder. Let's check out the rest. All right, this time we're gonna go with number one. So it's right at 80 as well. At red 85. Okay, so we're going to do number three. And as I've been thinking about it, it, it would have been better if I had squirted oil in there so I could get it on the piston itself. And the other thing would be to make sure that the, the valves are closed on that part of the stroke. Uh, but it's telling me what I need to need to know no matter what is that as it raises that it is a wear or a piston problem so let's go for number three and the readings right at 75 all right folks there you have how to do a compression test wet and dry for your engine so not a bad little kit easy to use for what i paid for it I think it was worth the money. I hope that that helps you all out. I appreciate you all watching. You all take care. It's time for supper.